today I'm going to be showing you how to make a felted rabbit. So I'm making a custom made felted rabbit today and to start off with I'm going to get some of my cool wool and I'm going to felt this into an oblong shape and this is to make the body of the rabbit. And then once you've done that you should be left with something that looks like this. So now I'm going to felt the head and that will go on this side of the body. So again I'm just getting some more core wool but a smaller amount this time and I'm just folding it into a ball shape and I'm just going to felt that so it holds its shape. And then this is what you want once you have done that. And I'm now going to felt this onto the body that I made earlier. So now that that's all attached I'm going to make two legs to go on the front of the rabbit. So they will attach here and to do this I'm going to get a small piece of my core wool again and I'm going to felt this into a thin oblong shape. So then once you've done this you need to make another one so that you've got enough for two legs. And then as you can see here are my finished front legs. I'm now going to felt these onto the front of the rabbit. So there's one and that's all attached and just make sure that it is firmly attached so that it will not come off and then this is the second front leg that's just going on. And now as you can see there is not much gap between the head and the legs so I'm just going to get a bit more of my core wool just to give my rabbit a chest. And sometimes it's just about judging it as you go along as to any changes that need to be made. So this is what it's looking like so far. So next we need to create the hind leg. So I'm going to felt some core wool on the side of the rabbit's body at the back for uh, the top part of the hind leg. And I will repeat this on the other side of the rabbit's body. So this is what you're aiming for it to look like once you've done that. And now it's time to felt another two legs for the um, lower half of, the, of each back leg. So you just want to do what you did earlier with the front leg. So get a small section of your core wool and just felt it into a thin oblong shape and do that again so that you've got two back legs. And then you just want to attach each leg to one side of the body. So as you can see, I'm felting it underneath that large section that we felted a minute ago. And then you just repeat that on the other side. So now it's time to add some colour onto this rabbit. And... This rabbit is going to have fluffy light grey fur. So I have got a video on how to felt fur. But I'm just going to show you a quick overview of it now. So here is my wool that I'm using. So I've just got a section of wool. And then I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to felt this down on the fold of the wool onto my rabbit and then I'm going to open out that fold and felt down the middle of that section and then I'm going to fold that over and felt underneath and then I'll flip that over and felt on top of that section and that just makes sure the wool is nice and secure and I will repeat this process to cover the whole rabbit with this fluffy wool. So once I've got this section, I will then just use some scissors to trim it to the desired fur length. 
and then yeah you can just repeat this process to cover the whole rabbit with the wool so this is what mine is looking like and I've left the legs white because this rabbit actually has white legs so now I'm just going to get some of my cool wool and fold it in a small ball and this will go um, on the back of the rabbit to make the tail and then I'm going to felt that onto the rabbit so I have left a small section where I have not put the fur as is where the tail is going but it doesn't matter if you haven't done this it will still easily attach so once that's attached um, you can then felt some fur on the tail to make it fluffy using the same technique as the fur for the whole body so now it's time to make some ears for the rabbit so I'm using the dark side of my felting mat and I'm felting uh, a long thin strip of grey wool for the ear so as you felt this you can manipulate it and felt it more one end to make it thinner for the ear and you need to do this again so that you've got two ears as I have here and now I'm just going to attach these to either side of the rabbit's head so this rabbit has lop ears but it would be the same a similar process if the rabbit did not have lop ears you you would just felt the ear up the other way so it's nearly done now I'm just using a thin strip of black wool to felt the nose and the mouth of the rabbit so I've chosen black but obviously you could do pink if you wanted and this is what you want it to look like as this rabbit is a custom made rabbit I'm only going to so it with one eye as in real life it only has one eye and I'm using a five millimeter plastic bead for the eye so once that's done it's just time to trim any loose fibers just to neaten up your felted rabbit and then this is my finished rabbit that I've made and now I'll just show you from all different angles so I hope you have enjoyed this video if you've got any questions at all please just leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe